just looks so cute sleeping there all by your lonesome. It's quite adorable, actually. Yeah. You pleaded yesterday. How? You just fell. should sedate you more because uh, you look absolutely precious when you're knocked out so easy to handle and so easy to touch oh you're waking up hello there again oh now now don't try to swipe at me you know it's not going to work. We've been through this already. Behave. I said, behave. Good. Now, sit up. I really, really don't want to have to go through what happened two days ago with you right now <sighs> just quit with your whimpering you have nothing to be afraid here that unless you want to be afraid because I can make you fear anything. I want you to fear. It only just takes a little bit of what's inside this syringe. Do you understand me? And if you do, you'll behave like a good little girl. Now... I am going to be heading upstairs. I will be bringing you back something quite delectable. Is it poison? <laughs> oh, God, I wish. For everything that you put me through, man. Murder would not suffice to what I could do to you and everyone else that was in your phone's contact list. What was that? Your phone. Yeah, I just simply used your thumbprint scanner, unlocked your phone, changed your password hell I even turned off your password so now I can see everything that everyone and anything sends you and quite frequently it's funny how I told all your friends how you ran away with this mysterious lover and you ain't even gonna hear from them ever again isn't that just lovely? God, you're so cute when you put on such a terrified face. It's so honestly fucking pathetic, but it's cute. Hmm. What am I making for you? Whatever I fucking give you. Just stay here, behave, and maybe, just maybe, I won't have to sedate you again. 
So stay here. And be a good little girl. Okay? All right. And I am back. Chef Sky at your service, the one and only. Now, of course, if you don't give your compliments to the chef, I... Well, <laughs> let's just say I'll cut out your tongue and make you fucking eat it. Do you hear me? Oh, come on, stop being scared. It's not poisoned. What exactly is it, you may ask? Just spaghetti and meatballs. What? Were you expecting a three-course meal, you fucking ignorant little bitch? God. Women like you are just... No. This is supposed to be a good dinner date. We're gonna do it right. Okay? I love you. I... I love you, and... Please just make this a decent little meal, and don't fucking make a mess like you did last time, trying to inevitably break the plate, get yourself a weapon, and you tried to fucking hurt me. And you know what? That's just not gonna work. So, instead of glassware, I did even better. I got paperware. Yes, everything is 100% made out of paper, meaning the fork, spoons, everything. Yes, please, just come together. Come here. Come here. You ignis. Look, I'm trying my best to not absolutely strangle the soul right out of your body. I just want you to behave and love me like you did the first time. Okay? Okay. And I know this isn't that appealing to be down here, but, uh, you know, we just, uh, look, I'm just having a hard time cradling my emotions for you because you're just so fucking adorable and you're just so fucking insignificant that sometimes I just want to put this knife through your fucking juggler and I just want to pull it all the way down through your chest and rip out your fucking heart and cradle it in my hands. But you know what? I can't do that because then if I do that, I lose you forever and I just... I don't know if I can be able to live with that, but you know what? Just relax, and we're going to... What? M music? No, we're, we're not... Why? You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. It is a dinner date. I should set the mood. I'm being a poor hostess, and... I mean host... Is you've got my mind so bent up right now, and you've got me so fucked up, and I just can't think other than wanting to just ultimately just squeeze you and cradle you in my arms until you go lifeless, and... No, I, I don't want to kill you. I never even wanted to sedate you, but... You were being a brat, and I don't like brats, and I don't like it when people misbehave. I, I mean, not people, you. When was the last time I went out to see people? <laughs> I don't need to see people when I have the one righteous person right in front of me, but she wants to be an ingrateful little piece of shit. I offer her food, you, you, you want to go to the extent of 
what it feels like to be in a restaurant, but you know what? Fine. You can have your music. I'll be right back. Okay. I have the Bluetooth speaker. And I just want to give you the bestest time that I can because you deserve it, okay? I just want to make this easier on you because I've been really harsh on you for the past two days now. And I just want to say I am sorry. Can you forgive me? Your silence says otherwise. I knew you wouldn't be able to forgive me. But you will. In due time. I'll make sure of it. I'll make sure you... You want to... Get to know me? What don't you already know about me? My favorite kind of music that's it, it, no you 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 don't need to know about me i just need to know everything about you and i am going to take absolutely good care of you as long as you obey okay okay so just please shut the fuck up and eat what I slaved over to make you. Okay? Good. Now, while you're eating, I am going to explain a couple of things to you. Because now, you've intrigued me about you wanting to know me more. And it's only right that you get to know your lover, don't you? Okay. Well, I never told you my name. How could I be a fool? Just, anyway, why do you need to know my name? There's no significance to it. You, all you need to know is just how to love me in return. In the same way that I love you, because that's what matters, okay? It's Sky Roseblood. You really need me to repeat that for you? It's Sky Roseblood. S K Y R O S E B L O O D. How much more further do I need to fucking explain to you how to say my name? There you go. As a matter of fact. Could you say it again? <sighs> that just makes me shiver a little bit. <sighs> Look. Eat your food. I'll bring you... There's a shower down here. It's on. It's actually at the door that you were trying to escape from. <laughs> Did I fool you? No, absolutely. You're just fucking stupid. You went for the wrong door instead of going for the door that was behind me when you tried to run out the door two days ago. Oh, I know. You looked so adorable trying to run away from me again it almost made me fall in love with you again and why is that well you see like I said you're not getting out of here 
you're never going to leave, so... <laughs> Stop that little fucking thinking of yours. Otherwise, I'll just lobotomize your brain and... Tap all those little fucking thoughts of escape out of your brain. Of course, I may accidentally turn you into a vegetable we wouldn't want that but now we like just behave that's all that's all i ask you to do just behave am i insecure <laughs> no i'm not insecure what part of me makes you think i'm insecure the way i'm acting flustered near you <laughs> no i guarantee you that's not me being flustered or anything I'm just merely holding back the the anchor and the rage and just the absolute idea that I just want to poke your eyes out rip up out your throat with my bare hands <sighs> cause with all that blood I just want to paint a Portrait of you. Portrait of us. Now wouldn't that be lovely? Now. Eat the food. I assure you it's... Once again, it's definitely not poisoned. But that's what you keep thinking now, is it? Go ahead. Pick up your fork. Stab that meatball in your mouth or do I have to do it for you of course you don't trust it of course you don't trust it give me your face I said give me your face good now open your mouth I said oh good girl now eat. Close your mouth and chew. Why are you hesitating to chew the food? You do realize if you would <laughs> if you hold it in your mouth, even if it was poisoned, all the liquids and juices coming off of that meatball would poison you regardless. Do you not know how shit works? Of course you don't. You're just one of those people who idly looks at their phone and wonders what the next Instagram post is gonna be. Isn't, isn't that true? Isn't that you? Of course that's you it is but let's just be decent about this okay because I went through a lot I even made you dessert you want to know what it is it's strawberry shortcake I mean of course it's my favorite dessert because I absolutely want you to be interested in the things that I'm interested in. I mean, <laughs> you're going to be, regardless of how you feel about it. <sighs> Give me that. Insignificant little fucking rat. I'll be back. Maybe you'll like dessert this time. All right, my little lovely darling. When was it the last time you had a birthday? Hell, we should even celebrate it today. So you know what? I'm going to sing you happy birthday. Wouldn't you like that? Of course you would. And this cake? <laughs> It's very special. It's for you, after all. I mean, it is my favorite delectable dessert that I love to enjoy while watching you squirm from the cameras in that little corner tied up on your little cozy 
bed. I've given you practically a cozy little living space. Hell, I even gave you a TV so you won't have to be bored down here while I'm away at work doing my job to sustain you. You should feel honestly very, very grateful because you know how many people would kill for this opportunity? Surely I love it. Now, I'm going to place this in front of you. Uh, uh, don't touch it. I know how desperate you are for your little sweets and that gorgeous, gorgeous little sweet tooth that you have in your mouth. Oh, it was like the first time when I bought you a box of chocolates and a bouquet of roses for Valentine's Day, but you had to go and muck everything up by running away. Now, why did you need to run away? Huh, oh, please save me. Save me from your words. I don't want to hear anything that comes out of that little useless filthy mouth of yours other than I love you and my name. Now, shall we begin with the celebration? Or do I need to gag you so I don't have to repeat the song Okay? All right. There we go. Placing that down. And we are going to... Well, I am going to sing happy birthday to you. All right. Let me just light these candles. There we go. Oh. And don't try to pick up one of the candles to set me on fire. You see... The candles, well, I've put little vials of sedatives with little tiny needles in the candles, but only I know where they are, because why not? So, if you go and touch one of those fucking needles, or, I mean, candles, and you're dumb enough to do so, because I, I know you're a fucking moron... I mean, look at all the trouble I had to go through to even get you back here, so, you know, come on now. Don't be stupid. Just be a good little girl. Obey me, and we won't have to worry about that little Brooklyn porcelain of yours. Surely we'll fix it. Anyway. Happy birthday to you. Happy Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Happy birthday to you. Now, blow out your candles. This isn't your age. Does it look like I fucking care about how many candles are on this cake? This is special for you, so blow out your candles, make your wish, because I guarantee you that shit is not coming true. So, go ahead. Blow out your candles. But, don't touch them. And there you go. Happy birthday to you, my dear, sweet baby. You know, I really do love you. And I really do want to take care of you. Hell, I want everything for you. Even if it means death. I'll do everything in my power to make you happy. What? Your wish is to go outside? <laughs> uh.
Oh, man. I wish... Oh, how I wish... You would just stop with these little... Devastating thoughts that just continue to hurt me over and over again. So, this time, I'm not going to sedate you. I'm going to let you enjoy your little birthday cake. Because good old lover boy here. <laughs> He's got some people to take care of. And let's just say, I'm starting at the top of the list. So, behave yourself, little one. Be a good girl for daddy. Oh, whoops. Did that come out? Sorry. But like I said, behave. I have to go. And you know what? Here's your little present. Enjoy it now. I love you. And I will always love you. No matter fucking what. And you will love me. Your little heart just has yet to know how to do so. So don't be an arrogant bitch. Enjoy your cake. Be grateful. And enjoy your little present. It is, after all, the friendship bracelet you made for your... How can I say... Sisterhood? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Whatever. You'll see it's still attached to the hand. Oh, man. I just... I love how she screamed and cried out for your name and... You could not do a goddamn thing. Isn't that just a shame? So, toodaloo, baby. I love you. Behave now.